a beautiful day outside. Pretty early, I've been up since like five. It's quarter to eight now. Just spent the morning reading this. Self-improvement guys, I'm trying to get my head right. <laughs> but yeah, I've just had like a nice slow morning. Been reading, had a cup of tea, some biscuits, watched a couple YouTube videos, and now I am just getting ready to finish filming off a TikTok that I'm doing in collaboration with YSL, and I thought I'd share the product on here as well, because it is, hold on a minute, so it is absolutely beautiful and I just wanted to show you guys how it looks on the skin. So this is the YSL new Bare Look Tint and it's essentially just like a, a skin tint. It's very natural. I really like the applicator as well but I feel like I can absolutely do this without a mirror because it's just so natural and like blendable and beautiful. I feel like it's all about kind of, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> It's all about like embracing your natural skin and just enhancing what you already have. And as you guys can see, it just adds like a really nice kind of glow and tint. It evens out your skin tone a little bit, but your natural skin still kind of shines through, which I really like. I'm much more into like a, a more natural kind of glowy base. I'm not into the matte full coverage look. I just feel like it suits me better. But this product is absolutely beautiful. It blends out like a dream. I'm using the shade New 13 and I feel like it's the perfect colour match which is very difficult for me to find. But literally look how quick that was. My skin looks a little bit more even, a little bit more glowy, super moisturised, like my skin feels super moisturised. Oh god it's just so lovely. And yeah it gives you a nice bit of coverage without being too much. I'm now going to, basically I started the TikTok for YSL yesterday but I needed sunlight to get the last few shots and by the time I was ready to do that it was raining <laughs> Manchester so I am going to get those this morning instead so I'm gonna kind of just recreate the look it's basically my normal makeup look but I had some braids in my hair and I thought it was really cute so I will finish up my makeup and stuff and then I'll come back and show you also I'm sure you can notice in the background I've made some more home improvements I've got the drawers up and I got my prints back up I switched out one of them for this beautiful print that I think it's Prince by Fox Designs. I will leave her Instagram down below. She very kindly gifted this for me after PJ passed away. And it is just the most beautiful thing. And I love that it's got a green background as well. It adds like a bit of color and a bit of personality to the flat. Cause I feel like the flat didn't have any personality. Um, also got some beautiful flowers that my boo got me. Um, okay, I'm gonna go finish getting ready. I'm still half asleep and I'll catch you guys in a bit. Also, what the hell are these? <laughs> But yeah, honestly, this is such a beautiful product and the fact that I'm working with YSL blows my mind. I'm still just like, how? How did I get here? I'm so confused, but I'm so, so grateful. Like it just, it just blows my mind. It's crazy. None of this would be possible without you guys. So thank you. Um, my mind is just, I'm feeling very grateful. Time to go from looking like a eggy potato to <laughs> To this give you a better look at it hold on let me open the blinds i found myself in a bit of kerfuffle i know i'm looking different i've been working most of the morning and into the afternoon i've done everything i can do for now work wise anyway irrelevant i got a new camera and it's massive but i wanted to like up the game with my vlogs and get a new vlogging camera and i've wanted this camera for ages but they didn't have one with a flip out screen until now so i tested it with my memory card and then when i tried to put my memory card back in my regular smaller camera it was telling me i had to format it to be able to use my other camera again so basically it's ruined the surprise and i'm having to use this to finish off this vlog this isn't the lens i'm going to be using though this is actually my boyfriend's lens the one i've got is like a lot wider and stuff but let me know what you guys think of the quality um i'm very excited my arm feels like it's about to fall off already so i don't know how i'm gonna vlog with this after a gym session but it's fine but yeah let me know what y'all think right well what i've done is i've made myself a little sandwich me we've got cooked up mushrooms and tomatoes that i had with me pesto pasta last night some vegan chicken bites from MS, which are delicious by the way the puri ones and the barbecue ones some lettuce mayo whole grain mustard delish gonna have that with with a few few crisps you know misani and a few crisps but i just wanted to say that i've i've re i've been reading the comments on my latest video i just want to say thank you because you guys are like well nice and that really appreciate it i can't even be like serious because like i can't be serious about serious stuff so yeah thank you you lot are well nice
Hey guys, morning. It's the next day. <laughs> I have just been finishing up editing the other TikTok that I had to do for a job and it is only 10.17, which is amazing. Which means I have the whole day ahead of me. It's gonna be a warm day. I'm already dressed, I'm ready. I've put my lashes on. I got this whole pack of lashes from Amazon and they're actually sick, like, it's been ages since I've worn lashes, but I just feel more photo ready. Do you know what I mean? I need to get back on the photo game. So I just want to feel good at all times. And if it means putting on lashes, then that's what we're going to do. In fact, that's kind of what this video is going to be. I just am taking myself out, doing things that I know are going to make me feel better, getting some sun because it's beautiful outside today. So what I think I'm going to do is actually go have a walk around town and go check out some vintage shops because I haven't been for a while and for years Manchester has been my favorite place for vintage shopping. I'm wearing this again today. You guys, I think this is my new favorite base. And then yeah, I might just stop off somewhere for lunch, treat myself, um, do a bit of work. Yeah, just self-care, innit? Do you know what I mean? It makes you feel better. Need to sort out these nails. And you guys know I did my gel nails for ages on my own. Thanks, I did them myself. And I haven't been able to do that because that kit is somewhere far back in my storage unit. But also the drill's broken, like it's dead. It doesn't work anymore. So I ordered like a little whole load of new stuff. I'm just waiting for a couple more things to come today and I am gonna sit down, do my nails. It's kind of like therapy. Maybe listen to a podcast or watch something. How cool are these? I got these oil slick nail tools and I'm in love. Anyway, I'm getting anxious to go out now, but I, it's not happening today. I'm gonna pack up my shit and go. Hopefully I'll, I'll get out there and be okay. I'm sure the sun will make me feel better anyway. But yeah, that's what we're doing. We're doing little bits to make ourselves feel like ourselves again. I'll probably take my phone to vlog just cause I don't wanna lug this big old camera out today. But yeah, I would also be going to the gym, but my body's just like, no, at the moment. My back hurts, I'm knackered, my legs are still sore from however long ago I went to the gym. So we're just taking it easy, you know, breezy, treating our seals. It is getting warmer and warmer. So I'm wearing this Ralph Lauren cap. Love it because it looks all washed and vintage, but I actually just got it from JD a while back. This cute little crop, I love the sides, is from Urban Outfitters. It says the love shroom is so cute. Oh, I keep fucking up the walls. I need to stop doing that. The cargoes are Jaded London. I am obsessed with these. I've got my checkerboard lace up bands. And then my jacket is from All Saints. So it's like a denim jacket, but the sleeves are like sweater material. I don't know, like a hoodie material. So yeah, this is the look. Very casual, just good incognito. Perfect for a little thrift session. So let's go. It was all a big mistake, never meant to miss the date I was caught up with my friends, I forgot that we had plans So the roses on the floor and found the champagne by the door All my favorite things, they were there except for you You were gone I need a dog, guys. It is 
so nice outside. I can't help myself but lie down and just chill for a moment. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to get on the terrace when I get back home to work. I didn't think it would be this nice. Also, that food was fucking insane. Find me. I'm right here. Guys, I am back home. That was wonderful. I feel so much better. Always so hard to go outside when you're feeling anxious, but once you like push past it and do the little things that make you anxious, like ordering that food, I felt so awkward just standing there, um, which is stupid, I know. It's like irrational, isn't it? There's no reason in particular for me to be feeling anxious in that moment. But just like walking around, going into shops, trying to film as well as like, it's something that makes me super anxious, but I'm gonna have to get used to that if I'm gonna be carrying around this massive camera. <sighs> God, it's heavy. But yeah, I feel so much better for it. I had a little kind of, I guess, day date by myself. Went and sat in the sun. I actually just lay there for a while afterwards, which was really nice. And then had a little stroll back. And then I just saw the most beautiful dog in the lift. Oh my God, I think it was a Cane Corso which I think is an Italian massive, so they're quite big dogs. But I've never seen that colour before. It was like a like a dark fawn with like bluey, lilac-y eyes. He was stunning. And um, it's just reinforced how much I need to get a dog. <laughs> Unfortunately, my trip to the vintage stores was kind of unsuccessful, but sometimes I feel like it's just overwhelming trying to look through so much stuff. It was nice to have a quick look. I found the cutest plant shop, which I'll definitely be going back to on another day when I'll be able to carry or bring more plants home. I guess I could have just got an Uber home, but I'll definitely be going back there. I reckon I'll wait until I move into whatever the next flat is gonna be before I stock up on plants, but I also went to the hair shop as you guys saw and I got some hair products, so I'll show you guys what I got. Um, I don't know if I've mentioned, I gave my hair a trim yesterday or the day before. Only a slight trim, but it's looking a bit neater now, a bit less scraggly. Still long. I definitely need to go to like a hairdresser or get somebody who knows what they're doing to kind of sort it out. Because what's the history of my hair? So I gave myself a wolf cart. <laughs> um, oh, there's a helicopter over there. I need to get tested for ADHD. <laughs> so yeah, I've been cutting my hair myself for a while now. As you guys know, I had I had like the pink money piece and then I did a job where they like dyed more of the top of my hair pink. So all of that is kind of damaged, but I don't know how to cut that myself. I did a little, what's it called? Search and destroy. You know, when you literally look through all your hair and just cut off all the dead ends and then twist it and cut off the dead ends. I did that, but I don't know if I got all the bits I need to get. There's definitely still some splitting pieces up top, which is unfortunate, but I need, basically, the moral of the story is I need to find somebody that can dye my hair properly because you can't tell on camera, okay, don't judge my hair, but in like sunlight, some of it's got like red tones and then some of it's like bluey green. Um, I think the bluey green is more so where I've had bleach in it. Um, but I just want to get my hair dyed so it looks proper and yeah, just get somebody to cut maybe like better layers into it for me just to sort out the dead ends at the top. But I did my best so hopefully my hair will survive. I'm just glad that I trimmed the length because I'm trying to grow my hair. I mean, it's, it's pretty long now, which is insane. But yeah, I'm definitely trying to take better care of my hair. So yeah, I think I need to wash it though. I don't know what's going on. My scalp is so tender and sore and my hair also got greasy, which first of all, my hair never really gets greasy on its own. I haven't been putting product in it. So I think I think my body, like, because my body's been through so much stress over the last however long, I think maybe my body's just reacting differently because my scalp is so sore and tender. And yeah, my hair's gr like greasy and it's been two weeks. I usually leave my straight hair for like three to four weeks. And like towards the end, I'll be putting like product in it to kind of moisturize it a bit. So very weird that. I'm just gonna show you the products that I got. I was kind of overwhelmed, but I got a few staples. Summer's coming up, warmer weather, less clothes, which means I'll probably be wearing my hair a curly a little bit more, just because when it's hot, it dries quicker. And also I just feel like in the winter when I've got like loads of clothes on, I just don't feel like my curly hair suits the fit. Um, especially because I'm tall, it just, I just look frumpy. But um, yeah, in the summer, I'm all here for it. So I've got the Kinky Curly Not Today Leave-In Conditioner. This stuff is insane. The slip you get on this is amazing. And then I got the Curling Custard. These have been like, for my wash and go to be 
what I want it to be, these are the products. Like, I can't, nothing makes my wash and go the way that these two products do. It's like the top, the top of my hair and like some towards the back is much more of like a 4A, maybe some of it like a 4B texture, but then like, and like around the front. But then all the sides and underneath is probably like a 3C, so it's a lot like softer and more loose. And then the top is more coarse and like frizzy. Um, and this works perfectly for both textures, um, which I find a lot of products don't. So obsessed with these. And then I got the Cantu Leave-In Conditioner because I want to, do you remember when I went to the Philippines and I did twists on my natural hair? I kind of want to do that again. I don't know if it's going to look as good because obviously my front pieces aren't as long. Like my hair is very layered and I feel like it definitely would look better if my hair was like all one length. But I, I don't know. I just, I don't know if I can be bothered with braids and having the extensions in and the itchiness. I've thought about a weave but I think I'm going to wait a little bit for that. I've thought about wigs as well but I don't think I could handle like wearing a wig all the time. Like just be so itchy like I just love being able to fill my scalp and like run my fingers kind of through my hands not that I can do that with twists oh mumsy's calling hello oh it's it déjà rentré yes I'm home sorry I have no idea where I left off but basically I want to twist my hair I want to add some nourishment to it at the same time so I got some moisturising like cream stuff I got some shine and jam conditioning gel extra hold to put on top of it because oh that smells so nice um yeah just to seal the twists I don't know what I'm talking about but yeah although it doesn't feel it feels a bit like soft I got some Grapeseed oil, soothing shine, boosting blend of peppermint oil and fruit extract extracts, which I think will be good for my scalp. And then I got this Cantu flaxseed oil, flaxseed olive almond castor and avocado oils. And then last but not least, I bought some blue contacts, which I'll probably be using in my next video because I'm going to do an inspired look. So, yeah. That's everything I got. I'm kind of glad I didn't find anything in the vintage shops to be honest because I don't need to be spending more money than I already am. So yeah, I've eaten. Don't need to worry about that. I think I'm gonna run up to the terrace with my laptop and all this footage and edit it together. And then, oh, I think a parcel's been delivered. It is as indeed. That means I think the rest of my nail stuff is coming between two and four today. So that means that I'll be able to sort these awful things out later. Look at the state of, I've been anxious like picking my skin as well. Like all around my cuticles, it's so bad. All right, I'm gonna grab my things and make my way to the terrace and crack on with some work and soak in some more sun because the terrace gets good, good sun. I'm excited, hopefully it won't be too busy up there. I was gonna sit at a table, but these are looking really appealing right now. Oh. Oh yeah. It's like if I sit here, I'm gonna fall asleep. <laughs> right. Where is the sun facing? There it is. And I'll sit right here and do some work. Oh, that's a cute background. Look how cute these tables are. Oh, that's so pretty. Hey guys, <laughs> I'm back. I got a ring tan. <laughs> I don't know if you can actually tell, but I've definitely got tan lines from my rings. Hopefully that means my face tanned as well. Excuse my spot. Not gonna lie, I have been picking. Every time I go to vlog, I forget what I have to say, even though the second before I switch the camera on, there's a million and one things going around in my head that I wanna say to you guys. It's so frustrating. Um, 
yeah, excuse that, I picked it. I couldn't help myself, could I? So my scalp is still really so like sensitive and sore. My hair feels really greasy. First, I'm gonna put some of this in. Oh, this feels so good. I really hope this helps. I feel like I'm gonna finish this in one go though. Oh, that feels so good. Give myself a little head massage. 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 massage, massage. <laughs> I'm fucking losing it. I lost it a long time ago. I'm looking different again. Nails are fresh. I decided to go with blue. As you guys can see, I finished off my little self-care moment and my scalp feels so much better after using that oil and just like giving myself a head massage and properly like cleansing my scalp. I did these little, I don't even know, they're not really mini twists because they're kind of chunky, but I just twisted up my hair with all my new products and it feels so, super like hydrated and just good and it feels nice to have this kind of protective style that's very like tensionless. What's the word I'm looking for? There's just no tension. My hair feels really like loose and just comfortable, um, which I think I needed after having such a sore scalp. I think if I had just gone straight back into my slick bun, it would have been headaches for days and it would have just been really sore. So I'm super glad I went with this and I think it looks so cute. But yeah, I feel so much better now having like sorted out my hair, done my nails. I used my Philips Lumea IPL machine as well on my legs and I did my face to get rid of that peach fuzz. Um, so I just feel really fresh. And yeah, there's definitely something to be said about keeping up your like maintenance and just doing the little things that make you feel like the best version of yourself. Because the only person I'm competing with is me. <laughs> but yeah, I'm so happy I've got my gel, like a gel kit again. It makes such a difference. Like I've had these on for two or three days now, not one chip. They just look so neat. And I know I'm not gonna have to worry about my nails for like a week or two, maybe three. And yeah, it just feels really nice to feel put together again. Cause I was feeling kind of crusty, I'm not gonna lie. And I feel like that definitely does affect my mental health. So yeah, I'm feeling good. I'm gonna end off this vlog here cause I've got another one to start. But I just wanna say thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for coming along with my little, on my little day date with me. That was so much fun. I need to do that more often. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. I will see you guys all in the next one, which will be very soon. Until next time, bye. Mwah.